All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, so today, because a lot, a couple people keep asking about it, want to know more about it. We're gonna talk about my Catch Power 100 a little bit and what I've done to it. Um, you know, it's Catch Power 100. This thing's an awesome kayak. Um, for those of you who don't know, the seat slides back and forth and it spins around. It's pre-wired for a trolling motor, which I've already got hooked up, did my systems test to make sure everything's good. Really what the questions are about are what I've done up here. So, oh, get a sip of coffee. <clears throat> so what I've done is I've got my depth finder here. I've got my switch panel here. My switch panel, the only thing that I still currently have hooked up are my front navigation lights. And see if you can see those, I tucked them up underneath the edge, just little LED strips. I didn't want to drill holes in the hole, so I used the little square wire keepers. Stuck one there, zip tied it to it. Pretty good setup. Um, I leave the scrag on. Sometimes I use my trailer when I'm lazy or my truck, um, but on my Pathfinder, it keeps the I, the hook loop here on the front of it from bashing out my back window. Um, got the Helix 5. Let's go ahead and shut those lights off. Um, underneath here, I never get under here when I'm out fishing. Plus I've got this nice open area I can throw things and things stay there really well, actually. Um, but what I've got under here, in my opinion, still kind of looks like a mess because I'm not quite done doing everything I want to do to it yet because um, I've still got these other two switches to hook up. Um, one of these is going to be interior lights and the third one, I'm not really sure yet. I keep going back and forth of putting a spotlight on it or putting underboat lights on it. Um, so yeah, so underneath here, I have a 100 amp hour lithium battery and then I'm running my depth finder off its own 10 hour or 10 amp hour battery. I usually carry two, but I'm not going to be out here that long today. Um, there's the back of my switch panel. I secured all the wires down to keep them out of the way as best I could. Here's my um, fuse box. The only annoying thing about this is, is the cover keeps falling off because I had to cut it for this and now it doesn't want to stay on there, which really isn't a big deal to me. Um, there's, I don't keep anything metal or conductive in here, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, go ahead and flip this back down. I notched the back of it so I could feed my Death Finder wires through it easy and I could put my navigation front lights through it pretty easily. Oh, I didn't trim the zip tie. That's, that's annoying. Um, so my depth finder arm, I've got that ram mount from Yak Attack. I really like that. However, um, when I upgrade my sonar, I'm going to put it through the scuffer plug, I think. Because down the center of this kayak, it's like a, it's kind of like a pontoon. So it's got that gap in the middle. Where I was thinking about putting the underbelly lights and where I would mount the transducer next time. <clears throat> Over here, just, I don't even think this is a brand name, I don't remember. Oh, it is a, oh, it is a ramrod. Um, yeah, so that's a ram piece too. This came with my other kayak when I bought it. So when you buy used kayaks, you always get extra good bits. Um, I've got extra rails from that kayak I can add onto this one. Um, today it's rainy and nasty out, so I got my scuffer plugs out. Uh, I'll throw these back up here. It looks a little cluttered, but it's a lot bigger than it appears. Um, so it's got a cup holder here. It's got a cup holder there on the other side. But then I've also got my um, Yak Attack cup holder there. On the sides, it's got storage. I usually just put like my soft bait bag over here. Uh, these money bags and just these bags come in clutch and you can get them for next to nothing. Uh, Bass Pro, I actually got that one from. 
and it came with like six packs of unique color bandito bugs which was a good deal because i got them for like 20 bucks um moving back i've got my z-man binder that's just full of z-man baits i got more soft baits and then this binder here has like all my spinners in it and you guys have seen this i need to put stuff away it's got buzz baits in it too and it's got some swim baits in it stuff like that um one thing i did notice it's kind of annoying about this so it's got four rod holders built into it however if you put a spinning rod in it even though that these ones have a pretty long handle they don't they don't really like to stay in there as well as i would like um so that brings us to the next thing i've got my big yak crate top and bottom i love this thing this thing's kind of ridiculous i got it all loaded down 3700 series fit on top that's an extra deep one then i've got some extra baits that i use absolutely all the time thrown in top there and then below that it kind of interferes with the trolling motor when it's all the way up like that so we'll just cut that like that for now so down here you can fit 3700 or 3700 series and the 36 in here with a lot of ease there's a lot of space and you can fit other things in here um, I keep my extra line in here, random swim baits, my fishing license. Um, there's those Spro boxes with all my chatter baits in them. Um, <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I keep in there. Then we get back here. You can see the little plug back there for the trolling motor. And I get to the transom. Um, I'm going to cut holes in this and put... Um, waterproof doors in it like the front or like the front hatch has for two reasons one so i have a little bit more just straight dry storage and i can access it better like if i get a leak i have to pump out or whatever i don't have to go through that i can just go through back here which with all this stuff isn't going to be any easier really but it's an option um it's got the transom and i want to put a navigation light that sits up high back here and the only way to do that is going to be by putting holes back here. I don't know if I'll do both sides, but I'm definitely doing one side. And they come in a two-pack, so might as well do both sides. Uh, it takes me about 20 minutes to put everything in here, which isn't bad. It's roughly what it took for me to do everything in my other kayak. And it was a lot less stuff. And my old Jackson was kind of hard to handle and stuff like that so let's shove this thing off in the water it's super super stable it really doesn't help that the water so low right now <clears throat> So the cool part about this kayak, because it is so stable, really, as soon as it kind of floats, you can kind of just step to it with one foot, like I'm standing at now. Granted, it's pretty much bottom down, but whatever, it's fine. Not that big of a deal. Can shove off here. It's a little bit harder some places than others because it is so wide. But it's super stable. Like, it's, it's like a paddle board with a transom. I really do love this thing. All right, I'm out here a little bit. Always bring your paddle. I always do, even though it's a powered kayak. Doesn't matter, stuff can go wrong. Just reach back here hit the drop on the motor and the cool thing about this motor is it's got an extending handle you guys are on my chest so I can't really show that to you and <clears throat> away we go it's that easy but yeah so I mean I'm not a big guy um, I'll probably end up moving my seat back a little bit more and reclining it a little bit more. Uh, one thing I do don't, I do kind of hate about this kayak is the seat. 
the straps on it. I haven't really come up with a really good way to keep it up. So sometimes it just likes to recline back on me, which is fine. It's whatever, but I mean, I'm probably, I'm, I'm just kind of cruising right now, but I can completely stand up. This lake's a lot weedier than it was last time I was here, which is kind of cool. Um, but yeah, I've been in some pretty windy days out in this thing and it went, it went really well. I'm super happy with it. Um, all my switches and everything, I can just reach, you know, now my front navigation lights are on or turn off the my foot. doesn't matter. Um, plenty of storage. I can still swivel. So that's pretty cool. Um, yeah, that's, that's really about it. And I can reach everything really easily behind my back. Um, so I'm going to start fishing. Uh, I got some other content I want to film today, but I figured I would give you guys a look at the kayak today. All right. Well, tight lines, guys. Take care.